Hallelujah. 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 We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We wish you a blessed month of September. And we hope that God will do new things in your family. Uh, and God will uh, help you to grow in faith and love and in worship uh, we thank God because we are here today we, we thank God that our worship team is here Pastor End is here uh, and uh, those who are passing the technical God bless you all and we come you to join us and come and help us to, to, to worship in the name of the Lord wherever you are we know that God can be with you and can talk to you and we, we, go, we, we are sure that God is going to talk to you in a special way today we, we bless you and we invite you to join us in this worship let's pray Lord, we praise you for this morning. We know that you are with us today. It's a new morning that we have never seen. And we want you to be with us. Let's bless everybody wherever they are. So that they can see your hand. Doing miracles in their families. Friends. In their everyday life, Lord. Come and lead us in everything we're going to do to right now. In our songs, in our prayers, and in your word. We want you to speak to us, Lord, so that we can see you in a way we have never seen you Thank you for being with us. And they use everybody we're going to do today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We invite our worship team to lead us. Thank you. Let's sing it together. The song says, You are faithful, O Lord. Lord is faithful Amen. for every day and every hour. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, 
세르과 Let's continue to sing. The song says, uh, Your blessing to me, O God. Your blessing to me, O God. Your eyes to me, O God. And your will to me, O God. Hallelujah. Amen. The blessing is and the will to, for God to me. Amen. Amen.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We have been blessed by the hand of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let the blessings and the uh, the also the love of the Lord be on us. Today and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, now we, we thank uh, the worship team who has led us. And I know that you have been blessed by the songs. And now we are going to invite our pastor. Who is going to uh, help us in preaching. And I want you to be ready to receive a special and message for you. And I know that God will speak to you. And you will be blessed through his word. We invite Alexis to pray for the, the uh, Pastor Andy. And we preach. Turagushimiye Imana gitondo kiza tugushimiye umwanya mwiza tugushimiye umwanya twakuramya mo uruwo kwizerwa mwami mu ndirimbo twaririmbye kandi migisha yawe amaso yawe haleluya nukuboko kwawe mwami Yesu kubane natwe uho rutugasanira umigisha yawe ibana natwe mu miryango yacu mu ngo zacu tukweretse umugarago wawe kubwe ijambo mwami wateguye uyu munsi rigira kamara mu bugingo bwacu urakoze gufasha bose bari bumvira ijambo aho rizagera hose Buri wese azagasanirwe n'iri jambo bizamuhindure kandi iri mwami rimwongere kwizera mu bugingo bwe mwami bana natwe kandi dufashe mwizena rya Yesu amen amen God bless you Amen amen glory hallelujah what a joy to be with our Arise congregation at Northminster. Hallelujah. Welcome. Can you believe in this year? Can you believe that God is faithful to carry us through this year? Today we are beginning a worship series that relates to the Apostles' Creed. One of the shortest Christian creeds and oldest creeds in the world. It has instructed and guided disciples for hundreds of years. It is 2,000 years old, the creed. One hundred ten words in the creed. It is a simple, strong statement of faith. Each week we will look at a phrase of the Apostles' Creed with Scripture. The first phrase we are looking at today is the very beginning. It begins with I believe in. What do you believe in today? How is your faith giving you life in Christ? 
To answer that question, our scripture reading today is from the letter to the Hebrews. Chapter 11. Verses 1 through 10. One through 10. Yeah. Yeah. Udakekeranya ngo ntibizoba kandi bitabonwa niko kubitumenyesha kwa rivyo kuri icatumye abakera bashingigwa intahe nuko bari bagufise ukwizera niko kutumenyesha yuko isi yaremwe ni jambo ry'Imana nico catumye ibiboneka bitaremwe mu biseruka ukwizera niko kwatumye aberi aha Imana ikimazi kiruti cyakaini niko Kwa muheshe jegu shingi gwa inahe. Kwa rumugororotzi. Hamu imana ya shingi inahe. Ama shikan wa iwe. Yu kwa limeza. Kani niko kwa tumye na nona kivuga. Na ho ya fu. Ukwiza niko kwa tumye henoke. Ajanu wa mngijuru. Kwa nhabo nurufu. Kani ni ya woneka kuku imana ya mujanyi. Kuko ya shingi inahe. E, ala janu wa yuko yahimbaye imana kandi utizera ntibishoboka kwa yihimbara uko wegera imana akwiye kwizera yuko iriho igahimera abayirondera ukwizera niko kwatumye no wa yubaha yubaha amaze kuburigwa ni imana ibitari ibitari bwaboneke akaba akabaza akabaza ubwato bwo kurokora abo munzu yiwe Kandi niko kwa muhae, guti indisha avo abari mngisi no kuragwa ukugoroka kuzanu wanu kwize. Ukwize ya niko kwa tumye, avura, avura hamu yumviri mana imu hamagai. Akaja ahanu, yarabi kiwe kuragwa, nukwa ragenda atazi aja. Ukwize ya niko kwa tumye, ava inyambukira mugihugu ya sezera niwe. Hikitari chiwe. Akavana mumahema na Isaka na Yakovo. Abara ganywe nawe ivzio vjase zirani. Kuko yara arorereye chagi sagara chuba tukwe kuitanguliro. Umugezi, numuwa tiwacho ni mana. Amen. Thank you God for your holy word. Turagushimi emana kuijambo jawe jera. Help us now to hear your voice. Udufashe kwa nokanya na hoku mvijwi jawe. And to follow in faith. Amen. Amen. In English, believe can just mean an opinion. When you say, I believe in God the Father, it's much more than an opinion. It is a belief or faith that changes how you live. People have explained faith using a chair. Theologians say there are three elements to saving faith. First is understanding. I understand that this is made to help people sit down. That's understanding. The second part is accepting. I can accept that this could be useful for me. Understanding, acceptance. The third step is trust. 
I understand how this works. I accept that it could be useful for me. But I will trust this chair when I sit down on it. There are problems, though, with metaphors, symbols. One problem is, what if this chair is broken? What if Alexi played a trick on me and put a broken chair here to watch me fall? What if Benjamin kicked the leg? The other problem with this chair idea is that I see chairs around me all the time. Faith in God involves supernatural realities I don't always see. I have not seen Jesus walk out of a tomb. I did not see Jesus ascend into the sky. The other problem with the chair idea is that it can say faith in God means just resting. And we know that if you believe in God, it's not just resting, it's moving. Amen. So let's go chapter 11 today. In English, in America, chapter 11 means you are bankrupt. <laughs> but in Hebrews chapter 11, we have this great chapter about heroes of faith. The Bible characters listed in Hebrews 11 did not just sit down. Believing in God is not sitting. Nor is it just opinions. Faith in God gets your life moving in new ways. So from our reading today in verses 1 through 10, we see four lessons of how faith works in a human life. Lesson one is that faith is responding to God. Faith is confidence in what we hope for. When I live in my house, I make it my home. When I walk into a dark room, I know where the furniture is and where the light switch is. When you make the living God your home, 
you are able to function even when it's difficult or dark. You have a confidence in what you hope for. A key way we respond to God is through our offerings. Our faith causes us to offer our lives to God out of love. Abel and Cain both brought an offering to God. But Abel's was a better sacrifice because it was the firstborn of his flock. So our faith causes us to respond to God with our time, our abilities, and our resources. Your ability might be music. You might be very, very smart like Benjamin and can translate many languages. <laughs> we all have gifts in different ways and our faith causes us to respond to God with who we are and what we have. A sacrifice of love. And I just want to thank so many of you for your offerings and gifts to Northminster in this difficult time. It has meant the love and spirit of Christ for us. Our scripture teaches us secondly that faith is responding with God. By this I mean we walk day by day with God. Some people say I believe one day God will save me. That's true, but better is each day God is saving me. In Hebrews 11, we learn about Enoch. Enoch was a man of faith. At the end of his life, he could not be found because God took him away. It's like a joke. <laughs> My grandfather years ago started walking three miles a day. And today we have no idea where he is. <laughs> Enoch is an example of a hero of faith who walked with God every day, even into his death and glory. I believe God has led you right now to be in worship with us. How will you walk with God when this service is over? The third lesson from Hebrews chapter 11 is that faith is responding by God. 
rero igice iyi ni igisho ya gatatu muri iki gice cy'icumi na rimwe ni ukwizera ni ukwishura ukoreshejwe n'Imana faith is what prompts you to be obedient to God's word ikuko ukwizera ni cyo kintu kigutuma wiyemera kumvira ijambo ry'Imana as pastor Pete shared last week we obey God not because we have to, but because we can out of love. Dero, nuko pastor pastor Peter yatwigishije mu ndwiheze ni twumvira imana kubera dutegerezwa ahubwo twumvira imana kubera yuko dusanga ari ibidushoboje. The hero in Hebrews 11 who shows obedience is Noah. He started building a large boat. There were no rain clouds. He started collecting animals. His neighbors asked, why are there aardvarks in our yard? But by faith, Noah uh, showed his righteousness by keeping with faith. The fourth lesson about faith from our scripture is that faith is following God's vision. The example for us in the Bible is Father Abraham. Go journey to this place I am sending you. And it says that Abraham was looking forward to a city whose design was from the architect God. And so faith is responding to God with our offerings. Faith is a response with God, walking in God's leading each day. Faith is responding by God in seeking to be obedient out of love. And faith is following God's vision in your life, his call upon you. But the key to all of this are the two eyes of faith. The eyes of faith are I believe in. I could say that some people think Benjamin is a good man. That's not a statement for me. But for me to say, I believe in Benjamin. That means that I personally know Benjamin. And when I say I believe in him, I'm saying he's my brother. If I am hurting or in trouble, I know he will come to help. That's what Jesus does in our lives as family. Some people say, I know that others believe there is a God. It's different to say, I believe 
in God. I am relying on God. I know he is here for me. That he will save me. That his love gives me life. Do you believe in the living God of love? Amen. Amen. Listen to these words of the Apostles' Creed, and if you would like, I invite you to stand and say or listen to these words with me. Don't remain passive or seated in your life with God. I want to invite you to stand up today. And if you are in a wheelchair or a motorized chair, raise your hand. And may this ancient, ancient creed be a declaration for you today of how you will live. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, Amen. and the life everlasting. Amen. 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 Uh, we thank our pastor for this powerful word of God. God bless you so much. Thank you. And uh, I know that everyone has been blessed. And we would like, in this faith, we would like to pray for you. Whatever you are passing through, whatever is difficult, whatever is darkness, we want to let you know that God can walk with you through. Mm -hmm. Let's invite our pastor to pray for you. Whether you're sick, whether you are in different challenges of life, we invite him to pray for you in a few words, and then we will close our prayer. God bless you. Gracious Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us with our pains and our hurts. Lord, we give you our lives, knowing that you are a good shepherd who is able to lead us and save us. Yes. Jesus, guide me and each of us each day to trust in you, to follow you, to find our healing in you, and to serve you, Jesus. For holy God, you are a God of goodness and grace. We lift our hearts to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, today and always. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you.